everyone! Today's video will be really important for some players. There are players out there that don't find it as easy to play a violin, viola or cello. And that is because of their body or the way they are. So that could be smaller stature, it could be that they don't have as much strength as some, it could be a physical disability or it could be an injury or something like arthritis or something like that. So this video is going to give you 10 really good tools that you can use to keep playing, to make it possible, to get better. So I hope this video helps. All right, so the first thing you can do, which is the easiest, is to lower the strings. So if you have an instrument, you can have the strings lowered at the nut and the bridge lowered. So that means you have a lower string height above the fingerboard. And when that's the case, it makes it a lot easier to press down on the strings. It'll make it easier to play double stops and generally pressing down on the strings. So this is one very simple way of making playing easier. Now, this is something for people with slightly smaller hands. You can actually get the string spacing at the nut made a little bit narrower. It's normally 16 millimeters, and uh, you can actually get it narrowed down to 15 and a half or even less. Obviously, it will increase the space between the edge of the fingerboard and the strings, but it'll put the strings closer together, and if you have small fingers, that could really help you. Now, the third thing that can make playing easier, it's not so much playing easier, but tuning easier, is to make sure that your pegs work really, really, really well. So they're super well fitted and turn very easily. So this is one of my Pierre Lamont Master Violins. Uh, it's really beautiful. Um, and you can hear like the pegs are very, very um, smooth. So they just turn super easily. So that's one way you can do it. Or you could actually get fine tuning pegs installed or mechanical pegs. So they have a gearing system and make uh, tuning very smooth, especially if you've got things like arthritis, smaller fingers, not so strong fingers, or RSI problems, uh, the fine tuning pegs could really help a lot. So the next thing that can be done is, uh, and this is a little bit um, irreversible, um, or very hard to reverse, you can get the neck narrowed or thinned. So if you have really small hands, uh, you might really struggle just holding the instrument. It might just be, you know, it might just all be too big for you. So you can actually get the neck narrowed out and made thinner. But just be very, very careful when you do that because if you ever want to sell the violin again, it's not an easy thing to reverse. It can be reversed by something called a neck graft. And that is that um, we kind of cut the neck out of the scroll and then fit a whole new neck to the scroll and then to the instrument. But it's a very elaborate and expensive repair. So think very carefully if you get that done. I have a French violin here. It's missing the scroll, as you can see. The scroll is in fact here, and I'm about to do a neck graft on this instrument because this neck is extremely, extremely narrow. So here's a violin with the normal neck, and this is the other neck. So you, you can see it is a lot, a lot, a lot thinner and it's actually very difficult to play so i'm going to, this is a beautiful old french violin that i own and i'm going to fit a new neck to it so that um players can actually play it number five is get a smaller instrument 
So there are instruments called 7 8 size instruments. So this is a French violin that's a 7 8 size. And a 7 8 size is in between a 3 quarter and a full size. So that you can see the full size here. It's a 7 8 size violin. I actually have players that have such a big problem with their fingers and hands that they actually play on three quarter size instruments. I've got clients, there's one client I have where, where the little finger just comes up to here, um, like to the middle of the ring finger. They've always struggled playing up higher with the fourth finger. They ended up buying a three quarter size violin. Um, obviously, the sound won't be quite the same. Seven eighth violin, viola or cello you can actually get a very big sound you can get very close to the sound of a full size instrument but three quarter size there will be a slight loss so the next thing is about the instrument itself number six get an instrument that speaks really easily if you're struggling a little bit with uh, with playing you want to just make sure that the instrument speaks so the moment you touch the moment you touch the string, you get a sound. I know a lot of soloists and a lot of players who play, they play hard on their instrument and they can get instruments that don't speak quite as easily to speak. But why bother? Why not have an instrument that sounds very free and speaks easily? So that can make a big difference to your playing and can make um, life a whole lot easier. Number seven is your chin rest and shoulder rest setup. You make sure that the instrument sits really comfortably on the shoulder. There are shoulder rests like the Bon Musica shoulder rest which actually wraps partially around your shoulder so it does a lot of the work of holding the instrument for you. So if you're struggling a little bit something like that like the Bon Musica shoulder rest could really help. There are also chin rests that have a really nice grip underneath here just to make life easier. So make sure you have a really good chin rest and shoulder rest set up. I did do a video about chin rest and shoulder rest previously. Number eight, make sure you stretch before and after playing. So look up all the stretches you can do, you know, stretching out like sideways up into the air, um, stretching every, you know, especially stretching around the shoulder and neck area um, to make sure that you are actually quite relaxed when you're playing. That's really important. And that brings me to the next point, which is also very important. Make sure you have a good and relaxed posture. So if you're feeling tension while you're playing, there's probably a slight problem that needs adjusting in your posture. Your muscles, obviously you will need some tension because you're using muscles and you're, you're playing. But make sure that you're not, you, you're not holding extra tension in your body. So make sure you have a really good posture. If you're finding that nothing you can do uh, helps with your posture, you might need to get treatment. Like if, if you have like RSI or something like that, there are lots of different treatments. I know of treatments that literally help people fully overcome RSI. It takes a while, like it takes probably one to two or even three years but it's absolutely worth it. But yeah, relaxed posture. And, and if you keep going back to your teacher and your teacher is not showing you a relaxed posture, it might be time to change teachers. Um, and I don't say this lightly, this, uh, you know, obviously teachers, uh, being a string teacher, you know, they do so many amazing things, you know, they quite often give extra time and there are so many amazing teachers out there. But it is, there are also teachers that don't focus on the uh, posture correctly, probably because they haven't learned. And you you just need to make sure that, you know, if if the posture isn't working for you, make sure you make the change. And if your teacher can't make the change, you know, like, you may have to change. Anyway, I, you know, this is a last resort. I, I support string teachers. I know they are really important. 
So don't don't feel like I'm attacking you if you're a string teacher. I, you know, maybe what you can take from it as a string teacher that the importance of 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 really making sure that your students have a really good posture so that they don't get any injuries. It's it's a responsibility. And the final one, working out. Do some strength training, like go to the gym or do some other strength training that gives you more strength in your shoulders, your neck, probably your whole core. That's, um, you know, having a good strong core is actually very important. I personally also like keeping active, like moving a lot. Um, so I ride my bike everywhere and I do a lot of walking. Those two types of exercise are really good, but they do not give you strength training. So it's worth doing strength training. I do a lot of um, exercises that involve my own body, like chin-ups, push-ups, um, sit-ups and uh, planking and that kind of stuff um, when I remember and feel like it. Probably not as much as I should. But anyway, I'm not talking about myself today. I'm talking about you. So there's so many things you can do to make sure you can keep playing, that playing isn't too hard for you. I've given you 10 ways um, that can make your life a whole lot easier. Some involve your instrument, some involve your playing style, some involve your um, the setup, chin, shoulder rest setup. And some involve your own body, like getting a good strong body. So, so there's all different ways of, of looking at it. Uh, there is one final one, and that has to do with the mental attitude. I do really truly believe that it's mind over matter. I, I believe that, that what we put out there kind of comes back in a way. So if you imagine and put out there you know that you can play in a relaxed way and that you can play it and that you can do it uh, sometimes life will find a way that's you know it's something I believe in and I've seen proof for myself obviously it's something everyone has to prove for themselves but uh, you know that's just a little extra hint or tip of something you know just imagine that you can do it always see yourself doing it. Don't focus on the pain, focus on the solution. Uh, anyway, I hope this gives you some ideas of things you can do to really help you with your playing, especially if you're somehow inhibited through injury, through um, a disability, through just, uh, you know, your stature, the way you, you know, every human is different. We come in so many different wonderful forms. And, uh, you know, sometimes the instruments just weren't made for everyone. So we have to find ways of adapting. So I really hope this helped you. Thanks for watching. Keep making beautiful music. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the little bell. All right, bye. And just don't give up. You can do it.